Stacy has doubts about Nick. My father thinks that he's gay. Then how do you explain this? No. You have strippers and hookers calling you 24 hours a day. So Stacy took the plunge. We decided to go bungee jumping. With a blind date. It was one of the best experiences of my whole life. Were you thinking about Nick at all at any point? Nope. <laughs> While Nick went out with a model. He had a plan. He had the blanket and the back seat and the candles. Uh -huh. Now, will Nick and Stacy stay together or have a change of heart? Hi, I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. This is the show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new. We're going to meet them later in the show, but first let's meet our couple. They've been dating now for nine months, and he says his favorite thing about her is the seductive little wink she gives him when they're in a room full of people. Please welcome Nick Green and Stacy Gross. <laughs> welcome to Change of Heart. Now, the two of you have had some ups and downs lately, so that's why you're here, and you've agreed to go on these blind dates, and we're going to talk about those later when we come up. Uh, but first, when you met Stacy, what was that like? Well, we were both 15 years old, so it was quite a while ago. And um, one summer, she came back from college, and we got together a little bit, and then I let her know that I've always loved her. Got together a little bit? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know. What does that mean? It's a little sum sum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Stacy, is Nick pretty creative when it comes to romance? Does he uh, do some fun things? Actually, yeah, he does. Um, last time, last year, actually, for Valentine's Day, um, Nick had a trail of my favorite rose petals, the purple ones, leading to my bed, and with like a beautiful note and um, love card. And he's, yeah, it was great. That was a nice touch. It was beautiful, yeah. 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 Stands out in my mind. <laughs> you guys have known each other for a long time then as friends before you started dating, okay. so I would imagine that the families know each other. Does your family like Nick? Um, at first, they thought um, our relationship was a bit strange because my father thinks that he's gay. Well, we he thought he was gay, and Nick has a tendency to flirt with guys. So, oh, Nick, you're flirting with guys. That doesn't help anyone. Wait, 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 wait. With guys, wait, wait so. but, but let me let me explain though. See, this was all because this I'm a really guy. Looks no, we we all plot as men, and so my thing was if I, the family trusts me to be alone with her, it's like, oh, Nick's spending the night. Oh, he's just gay, Nick. No one's gonna trip. Ah. So Nick's I'm alone. With my hey, see? Sure. All right. And and the only she thinks you know I flirt with her guys. She drags it out. It's just to mess with her. A little sarcasm, and it's. Yes, okay, it's Nick, funny. wait. I have no. a friend, ah, she has I have no a friend that lives it's, up north. And no. every time he comes no, down to visit no, me, no, one of no. my good friends that is, um, Nick gets really excited. But like Nick, a the one special kind of guy excited. a little bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He gets okay. really excited when he comes down to visit me. I, I encourage her to have gay men. No competition, no threat. Do you trust this guy? Um, Nick tends to bend the truth at times. Oh. Um, I Please. trust him, but he bends the truth. You know, I was going through his photo album a couple of months back, and oh, uh, oh, oh, have you guys oh. ever seen the Rolling Stones magazine with uh, Janet Jackson? She's got her hands in the air, and that guy's got his hands on her. From around, you know? yeah. I was going through my boyfriend's photo album a couple months ago, and uh, there was this girl I've never Who seen her before in my life. Like Janet hands Jackson. in the air, hands on, and, and whose hands? His. His but, hands on her hands. Right, right. Stacey. 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 Do that. No, and she I've looks never just. She looks because she lives yeah, in Michigan. But how did your hands end up there in the because photo? Because she lives in Michigan. She looks just like Janet Jackson. She's visiting me, she and we thought it'd be a like good Janet idea Jackson. to. to rep she does. Yes. Nick, she was no. right. Okay. And you know what? <laughs> all right, Nick, let me. Add, we got to keep going. Nick, what's the most frustrating thing about all of this in your relationship? Okay, well, the biggest thing is I'd say advice. She constantly, which is a good thing, being I'm her boyfriend, comes to me, Nick, what should I do, advice? And she never listens to me because she always comes back saying, I've Nick, you're right. To ah, you. college, Arizona. Nick, where should I go? Should I go to Arizona? And I said, no, go where you'll be happy. Arizona, or not Arizona, Nick, but even, take your advice? even like, San, myself, even San you know, Francisco, which is away from me, I'm looking out for her. She goes there, she calls me up crying, Nick, I hate it here, the people are horrible, it sucks, I want to come back. You were right. Hence, I was right. See, Nick gets to Again. say, I told you so. Stacy, you ever give him advice that he doesn't listen to? Oh, all the time. I always give Nick advice. Right, honey? Well, such you know, as? The, well, actually, the last Not time really. I gave him advice was to move out on his own. I think it's time that you move out. You've been living with your mom for your whole life, and he needs to, like, you want to be a DJ, you want to work in the entertainment business, come to L.A., live by me, live near me, you know? Be you, independent, but, be on your own. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, Nick, you and Stacy have been hanging for a while now, but you thought it would be a good idea to come on here and date some other people. Why is that? I've known Stacy forever. She's yeah. like the plain Jane girl I've known, and I think it'd be adventurous to do something exotic and date an exotic girl and see if it's what it's cracked up to be. 
and it's good for both of us. All right, we'll see if that yes. happened then. Uh, they've known each other for a long time. They've been dating the past nine months. They both think each other have big mouths, and they don't take each other's advice. So it's safe to say that Nick and Stacy's relationship could definitely lose a bit of a tune-up. When we come back, we're going to meet the people that they dated and find out if they're going to stay together or have a change of heart. Welcome back to Change of Heart. We're here with Nick and Stacy. Stacy said that Nick has problems telling the truth and still lives with his mommy. So we set her up with a guy who's making it on his own and always tells it like it is. Please welcome Adam Katz. Adam, that's Nick. Hi. Nick, that's Adam. <laughs> And Nick, we'll start with you with your first impression. All right, J. Crew. <laughs> it's not so bad, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Adam, where did you decide to take Stacy on your date? Well, she said for a change, she wanted to do something really crazy, so we decided to go bungee jumping. So we planned a, planned a, planned a trip to go bungee jumping, and uh, neither one of us had ever gone before, so it was a big hike and bungee jump. Well, we, uh, you know, that would qualify then as something a little bit scary and yeah, different. It was a fun time. <laughs> I, Adam, one of the problems with uh, Nick and Stacy, they were yelling at each other for never calling each other back. Was that a problem with Stacy when you were calling her? No, she, she called me back right away all the time when we were playing the trip. And uh, uh -huh. the night before, we got in touch. Um, I called her at 10 o'clock and I said, uh, call me back right away. And she called me back right at 1 a.m. And then we were ready for the next day. Uh, see, Nick, mm. yeah. she gets right back to him. Well, see? yeah. And you complain, I'll call you back. You see, that's, that's new. He doesn't know her. Time. <laughs> she wants to look good at first. I understand. Oh, right. please. So, Stacy, okay. you guys made plans. You called him back right away to set up the date and everything. Did, did you meet up on uh, time as scheduled? Um, you know what? Actually, um, we were supposed to leave at 5.30 in the morning. And um, I called him at 5.45 just to make mm. sure that he had left his place. He was still sleeping. <laughs> like, hello? Adam, what and, happened? Uh, well, my, my alarm clock didn't go off, so I kind of overslept it. He was a little late. Which now, is see, okay. so it was like Nick and, and Mom or something. Would Mom have gotten you up for the date? <laughs> no, I would have been up. I on don't your think own. So. On my own. I don't <laughs> need an alarm jumping? clock. Oh, yeah. All right, so there you yeah. are getting up at 5.45, <laughs> starting out late. Then what happened? Um, well, I Wait. made it there before 6 o'clock to her house, showered, ready, packed, and yeah, ready to go on the trip. Minutes. Yeah, five well, minutes. 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, that's great. I'm Fast. very low maintenance, so. All right, Stacy, did you guys bungee jump right away, or what happened? No, actually, we went on um, a four and a half mile hike through um, uh, brush and, and streams. We crossed over, like, rivers. Yeah, um, raging we saw rapids, a rattles, yeah, yeah, raging rattles. Yeah, raging We saw a rattlesnake. Um, it was great. He held my hand the whole time, too, just, you know, to make yeah, sure yeah. that I was okay, that I didn't get hurt or fall on any rocks like I did. Very just good. Indiana Adam here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nick, does this sound like a fun date or something that oh, you thought Oh, sure, for Panama Jack. I think that's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know? I, I mean, that, that's... I'm glad someone took you to have the opportunity to jump off a bridge, and, and I'm glad. It, 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 it I, was that's great. great. You would never do something like that. You never asked me to. Adam, you would never, he would be, there they go again. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Adam, Stacy said Nick has a tendency to stretch the truth when it comes to women. Would you ever do that? I would never. No, I'd never stretch the truth. I've, I've been cheated on before, uh -huh. and I, you have to be honest. Oh. It's, I believe in complete honesty. Yeah. 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 He felt that. Yeah. I think in the beginning, the beginning of the date, I said straight out, I was like, you know what? You are so genuine. He's such a genuine person. Like, everything that came out of his mouth was so honest. Adam, she, uh, one of the things that Nick said is that Stacy yells a lot. Was there any yelling going on on your yeah. date? Well, yeah, yes, yeah, she was yelling. She was yelling, hold my hand, and she wanted help across the rapids, and it got into a little well, bit of... Well, it almost went down you know, the yeah. river. I was well, scared. yeah, it was, it was rapid, so, yeah, she, the yelling was in, you know, good context for her. Nick, you can picture this as it's happening, right? <laughs> oh, of course, no question. That's like a, a river, more like a stream with a pebble, and, and Stacy... <laughs> oh, no, these are rivers. I mean, these are raging rapids. Rapids, you no, know, no, these are not say, if it was me, Nick, Nick, hold my hand. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna drown. You're gonna let me drown here. It's, this is a river. For Christ's sake, <laughs> catch me. All right, Stacy, did you she finally get the bungee right. jump at some point, though? Yeah, we did actually. Yeah. We finally got to the top, and um, about 120 feet down, we mm. did it. it was together? Great. Was it that one was of those jumps no. that? Not together. No, separately. I went first, and then he went, went afterwards, after, yeah. and it was one of the best experiences of my whole life. All right, there you are, Stacy. Okay. 
a scary moment in your life. You're 120 feet up, ready to leap off that bridge. Were you thinking about Nick at all at any point? Nope. <laughs> she was okay. I just thought I'd check just in case. No, that's good. I don't want to be associated with death. That's <laughs> how it works out. <laughs> One final thought before she well, hits she, yeah, she, she gave exactly. me a great big hug and I held her hand and before she went over and there took some she pictures. Went. Yeah. And she yeah. Was now, Stacy, like you, you said you, when I was asking you about family issues and some of the family thought maybe that Nick was gay. Do you think they'd ever think that of Adam? No way. Um, you know what? He wants to be a stuntman. I think that's a pretty manly thing. And um, he's just very different. They're very different. You know, <laughs> he's not Nick. He's not Nick. He's not no, Nick. he's not. <laughs> Nick, you okay with all of that? I'm Nick. Yes, yeah. you are. And, and, we're, and we're glad you are, Nick. <laughs> Adam, at some point in the date after all this excitement, because the adrenaline is pumping when you're doing something like that, did you feel that Stacy was sort of digging on you? Yeah, we, we got along great. Yeah, we uh we actually talked about she's her birthday's in a couple weeks and she invited me to go and I'm probably gonna go. Go to what her birthday go, party? Go to her birthday party, yeah. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Nick, did you know she's inviting him to the party? Sure. And um I think that's great. <laughs> and, and would you be okay if he shows up? I yeah, you told me. Um uh, yeah, yeah, I personally invite him. I think it's a great thing. They bonded and, and come to the party and have lots of cake. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Okay, well, Stacey, you had a good date. He's kind of like that Indiana time. Jones thing going on here. Yeah, definitely. A lot of adrenaline, a lot of fun. Birthday oh, yeah. party. Will that plunge from the bridge leave Nick and Stacey's relationship on the rocks? <laughs> We're going to find out later. But next, we'll meet the woman that Nick went out with, and we'll hear what happened on their date. We just heard what happened on Stacy's date with Adam, and now we're going to meet the woman that Nick dated. Nick said he wanted a woman who's a little less white bread and a little more mellow, so we set him up with the exotic woman of his dreams. Please welcome Dana Schick. Hi, Dana. Welcome. Hello. Of course. You know Nick, this is Stacy and Adam. Hi. And Stacy, we always like to start with first impression, so your first impression of Dana? I think she's beautiful. She's his type, definitely his type. You can see that, huh? Yeah. So we did good, I guess, as far as that goes. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, Nick, let's talk about your date. What's the first thing that you and Dana did when you got together? I I went, to her, uh, went to, I went to her apartment. Fair question. Okay, and um, the first thing I saw was some modeling pictures, and she is a model. Lovely pictures, mind you. And there are a few where she was perhaps um, scantily clad, but they were, <laughs> they were very, they're very classy, very nice pictures. Uh huh. Yes. See, Stacy, Nick's not the only one oh, with what? a photo album collection. Yeah, he enjoys yeah. pictures. Yeah. Now, were you, were, I mean, were you these like penthouse Playboy? Or? No, no. no. Well, what are you talking about, scantily clothed? No. I mean, I had clothes on. Oh, yeah. Dana, is Nick the kind of guy that you might usually go out with? Um, no, he's not my typical guy. I've usually gone out with, um, you know, models, people that I'm around. I mean, he's really cute, though, but, you know, he, he's no Brad Pitt. Oh. Oh, oh my God. That, that hurt. <laughs> he's feeling the pain. Dana, Stacy says that Nick sometimes bends the truth a little bit. Did you think that you were getting a sense of that exaggeration? Oh, ab absolutely. You oh. know, you know, talking about. I know, no. What is she talking when, about? When uh, we went to the um, art, uh, Festival of Arts, mm -hmm. um, he got into this um, parade of like speaking in a British accent. Remember? <laughs> and then like every vendor we went up to, it was oh, like, yeah. he starts going to the accent mm -hmm. and he's going. He went kind of like, too far, but. Um, it and was Nick, cute. What at first. was the point of that, Nick? Doing uh, your, uh... It, it was just a little bit of something to break the I ice. Do it I thought it'd be I fun. Know. Oh, that's, that's all. Yes. I've been with you for so long that I talk like that sometimes too. I can't help myself. And can you Aww. can't blame her. It's simply to break the tension. That's what I was trying to do. Did it break the tension? <laughs> yes. So, yeah. I, I don't know. She never broke out into it with us. I guess there, there, there wasn't any tension. tension. You remind me of a little boy named. Easy. Watch that one at your mom's, right? Yeah. Adam, does it sound like a guy you'd hang out with, though? Uh, no, no, they, no. I'm, I'm from Boston, and he wouldn't fit in, in at Boston. all. Not at all, no. Oh, that's cute. Not at all. Gap. Yeah. In the last two seconds. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> yes, exactly, Stacy. Thank you. So, Nick, you guys are having a good time at the Arts Festival. What mm -hmm. happened after that? 
Um, well, we, I went, took her to watch the sunset, which was a very romantic thing to do. But the sun had set. Not my fault. Wait, you missed it? Well, yes, we there's did. There's a big hint. <laughs> yeah, there's one big hint. It's starting to get dark. The sun's going down. I mean, it's still light. There's just no more sun. There was, the rays were out. So we saw the rays set. And then... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> and, then, and then we moved on to watch the stars, which was very nice. And Dana, right? how was the stargazing? Um, she loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it, it was too much light. We, we left and went to the beach. It was too much light? Outside so you couldn't see stars? stars no. Yeah. no, I'm sorry to hear that. No. So was that sort of uh, spur of the moment kind of thing, Dana? No, he looks like a professional. He's done... I mean, he's very creative, but he... So you he, think he had this all planned out? He had it planned. He had the blanket and the back seat and the candles uh -huh. and... <laughs> Stacy, oh, is that surprising? What? Uh, Blank <laughs> you never told him about no candles, Nick. Well, you didn't ask about no candles, candles blankets. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted her to feel special. That's he did. Yes. Oh my God. Well, Nick, obviously you were well He's never prepared. Done that for me. Were I'm you hoping for? Right. Were you hoping for more than just uh, you know a little romance there or what? Well, it was romantic, and I was looking for something something nice, which was good, and then um, <sighs> nice, and then we went back to we went back to. Uh, Something nice. Yeah. Something nice. <laughs> something nice. Yeah, it was nice. It was, it was a fun time. It was a good time. We had a very good connection, and it was nice. All right, it sounds like it was innocent enough, Stacy. I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, Dana, would you ever get the impression that Nick was gay? Because that's what Stacy said earlier. I started laughing when I heard that yeah. because I, I didn't think that at all. I thought yeah. he was very manly. In like a Brad Pitt she sort of manly. <laughs> All right, so the romance at the stargazing and the blanket and all that was nice. Did it get any more romantic once you got her home? You would think so. And, and she was nice. She invited me up to her apartment, which was very, you know, it was very um, uh, friendly, which was good. And then we went up there and I bought her a, a picture of the sunset since we couldn't watch the sunset. Yeah, it's hanging in my apartment. But let me explain. For Tim Allen, this would have been a nice date. Being, I had to wash the painting and hang it on the wall myself. Which is still there now, which I don't know if that's romantic or not, but it And what that out. had to do with Tim Allen, I don't understand. <laughs> the whole <laughs> home improvement Oh, thing, I uh, see. Okay. Yeah. Only I didn't break anything. All right. So, Nick, yeah. overall, was Dana the exotic girl that you were dreaming of and hoping for? Oh, oh definitely. I look at her. She's a beautiful woman and very lovely. And, you know, the show, they really hooked me up, took care of me, and I'm very happy with, with the date. It was very nice. Good. Yeah. Very good. All right. They had their home improvement moment. They totally blew the sunset thing, but that's okay. Will Nick and Stacy have a change of heart? That's our question. During the break, they're going to make their decisions, and we're going to find out what they decided when we come back. Well, now's the moment of truth. During the break, Nick and Stacy each made a final decision about the future of their relationship, and there's no turning back now. Will they stay together? Or have they had a change of heart? You know, Nick, you said that Stacy might be a little too plain Janish for you and you wanted to go out with somebody that was a little more exotic and we found you someone who was and fit that. Uh, Stacy, we're gonna start with you first though to get your decision. You had some issues that maybe Nick flirted too much, exaggerated the truth, and of course still lives with his mom. <laughs> so we hooked you up with Adam. You had a good date there. We wanna know how you're feeling and what your decision is. Okay, well, um, I had the most amazing time with Adam. I mean, he is great. I couldn't have asked for a better date. I mean, the bungee jumping was amazing. Nick, um, you know what? I've had, not doubts, but considering we've been together for so long, I feel like we've, we're almost better friends than anything. So, um, but I decided to stick with oh. the baby. There we go. <laughs> Adam, sorry if things didn't work out for you. I had a good time. Well, that's fun. good. Okay. <laughs> Nick, up to you now, man. You know, we fixed you up with somebody who was a little more exotic because that's what you said you wanted. Someone that would call you back, somebody that would listen to you and share some of your advice. How are you feeling now and what's your decision? Oh, Dana's the bomb. I mean, look at her. She's a very exquisite woman here, and I'm very happy that I had a, such a great date with her. She, I'm sure she would call me back. Hasn't argued with me once in our whole life together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As Stacy, on the other hand, argues consistently and, and never calls me. But at the same time, you know, with a lot of thinking involved, I've realized that uh, what I have here is really no ordinary love, and I want to keep that. So we're going to stay together. Dana, sorry things didn't work out. 
And now, Nick, I hope you learned an important lesson, I guess, at least. Obviously, looks aren't all that important or not as important as you thought. Right. It's what's inside that makes the person. Oh, how sweet. Oh. Does Adam still get to come to the birthday party? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Well, and Dana, too. Well. Very Dana nice. can come, too. That's our show for today. Thanks to Adam and Dana. Good luck to Nick and Stacy. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart.